their accomplishments and are privileged to recognize both of them at this time. First, we will have Sim Hard Zacharias, who will introduce Douglas Pelias, followed by Alalu Akosimwa, who will introduce Derek Rosu. Thank you. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, to the BHS staff, parents, family, and at last but not least, to the graduating class of 2010. My name is Sumhar Zakarias, and I'm Vice President of the National Honor Society. It is with a jubilation to present one of our valedictorians to the senior class of 2010. The valedictorian is a graduating senior who has been able to maintain the highest academic average over the course of their high school career. One of our valedictorians, Douglas Pelias, has earned an outstanding 4.0 on a 4.0 scale. While being a consistent honor student, Douglas has also dedicated his time to extracurricular activities such as United Cultures in Action and a starting player on our very own baseball team. Douglas will be attending St. Mary's College of Maryland and attempts to pursue a career in computer science. It is a great pleasure to presents you no other than Douglas Clyde. Okay, uh, good afternoon to Dennis Burke's staff, friends, family, and the graduating class of 2010. First of all, okay, um, <laughs> I'm, as you can see, I'm kind of nervous, so I guess you can understand. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for being here on this special day, and I'd like to give a special thanks to uh, my parents, uh, who are there, who have always been there for me. Uh, they have always encouraged me to do one well in, uh, in school, and have always provided me with their support, advice, and love. Thank you. Gracias a mi mamá y a mi papá. Okay, I would also like to thank some of my closest friends who have been there since my freshman year, who have been there since uh, my freshman year, and I said it twice, <laughs> you can see that. Uh, but they have always been there for me during the good times and bad, and I'd like to take this time to uh, say who they are. Uh, Fabian Guerrero, Jessica, Jessica Pacito, Yasmin Sanchez, Omar Hassan, Benjamin Chavez, Gabby Romo, Walter Beltran, and Edwin Flores. So thanks to all of you guys for always being here. Okay. Albert, once, Albert Einstein once said, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. The important thing is to not stop questioning. We have learned a lot both from ourselves and our teachers during our four years in high school. We have managed to keep hope. When we first came in as freshmen, we were all nervous not knowing what high school was going to be like. Even I was nervous. I couldn't manage to find my first class. But I found it. So, you know, uh, today is a special day for us. We're graduating. Our last day here, and today we move off our separate lives, but we always keep our memories that we have spent with all our friends here during these four years. So as we leave here today, I want the class of 2010 to be proud of yourselves for all your hard work, and congratulations to all of you for all your hard work. Thank you. The Bala Victoria is a graduate senior who has earned the high academic GPA over the four years in high school. Due to the rigorous academic competition at Bledenburg High School, we have two Bala Victorians. This year's second Bala Victoria is Darren Wilson. Darren Wilson is a young man who has strived for excellence and has had many great accomplishments throughout his life. Struggle for excellence has enabled him in many aspects of his life, which includes many academic accomplishments as well as athletic accomplishments. His accumulated GPA of 4.0 is a demonstration of academic accomplishment, which is a direct result of his hard work in class and his dedication in the classroom. His leadership and success in athletics is demonstrated by his ability to guide the Glendenburg track team to the regional state championship meet. Daryl is a well-rounded person who has dedicated his time to countless organizations and programs. 
In addition to being an outstanding student and a track star, Derek is also a class senior, senior officer, and I donated countless time to helping young students learn how to do math and science. During the summertime, Derek volunteers at Catholic University in the Bone Lab Research and at General Plains University in the Biomedical Department. It is my Daryl is going to be attending the University of Maryland College Park and will be majoring in biology. It is with great pleasure to introduce a close friend, a team, my teammate, my brother, and one of the class of 2010 valedictorian, Daryl Nwosu. Good afternoon, fellow classmates. Good afternoon, trustees, faculty members, friends, family. Last but not least, Principal Jordan. <laughs> fellow graduates, we have pondered this very day since we first stepped foot at Mansfield High School. The day has now come, and we have the support of, your, of our family and our friends. I would first like to thank God for everything He has done. Because without him, I would have been standing right here in front of you right now. I would also like to thank my family and my friends for their day-to-day -day guidance and belief in me. Now I'd like to uh, read a quote by Ross Perot. She said, most people give up just when they're about to achieve success. They quit, they quit on the one-yard line. They give up the last minute of the game when the foot from the running touchdown. Now to my graduating class, there are many of your friends right now who should be in the same atmosphere of joy and success that you are in right now. Yet they are not because when the going got tough, they won the towel. They said, I can't. They said, I, I refuse to move on. They said, I refuse to fight for what's mine. They were the ones who quit on the one yard line during the last of the game, when the first one the touchdown. However, because you are here, you should applaud yourself for that. You are, to what, you are here as a testament to what hard work, dedication, and determination can achieve in Baseball High School. You have battled family grades, bad test scores, sleepless nights of doing homework and projects that we're doing the next day. And again, I must reiterate that because you are here in your caps and gowns, every single person in this facility knows that you, you refuse to give up, that you fought for that A or that B, or you fought for that 90 percent or that test, and you should be proud of yourself because I am. Now that we are graduating, we need to have one thing in mind. We are about to step into a real world. Blainsburg was only a rite of passage that was leading up to this moment that we that we have parted. There will be no more Mr. Lucas in the hallways to tell us to go to class. <laughs> We're in class now. The, every single adult that you see here, friends, family, they went out to a real world they set their own goal for themselves and they achieved it. Now it's time for you to go out to that goal into this real world and achieve your goals and set high goals and achieve them. And when you're stuck out there, just remember all those obstacles that you went through. All those obstacles that you went through, they were they are the, the lessons that you learned from these obstacles, they will help you lift you up when you have your uh, tough situation. I can remember my pastor preaching a sermon in church one day, he's saying that impossible has the first two letters, I and M. So whenever tell, somebody tells you that whatever you want to do is impossible, tell them that I am possible. It is possible for me to reach my goals. It is possible for me to, reach, to live my own dreams and live my own life. In closing, my fellow graduates, the real world is waiting out there for you and it wants to swallow you whole. But you must do pretense. You must persevere persevere and persevere. Never give up and never give in to other people's negativity. In the words of Albert Hubbard, a little more persistence, a little more effort, and what seems hopeless failure may turn to glorious success. Congratulations, Pastor 2010. <laughs>